hello my loves welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new video So if you know me, you know I'm super excited for today's video. In today's video, we'll be speaking all about summer 2022 trends, trends that I like, trends that I'm not really a fan of, as well as some items that you need in your wardrobe that correspond with these trends. So if you guys are interested in hearing about summer 2022 fashion trends, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so a couple of orders of business before we get into the summer 2022 trends is details on today's look so hella good today okay i look real summery today my hair is in this twist out that i achieved using mazani mousse i did a detailed video about this at the end of last year so i'll link that video up above as well as down below my makeup i did record this makeup look it was monday's video so i will link that video down below so you guys can can go ahead and check it out but baby the face is sitting okay the face is sitting earrings are from zara i purchased these a couple of years ago so i don't think they're available anymore but they're just like this cute little colorful situation okay fix the hair from the side profile and my top is just a basic white bodysuit from forever 21 which will be linked down below before we get into the video i did want to let you guys know i'll be speaking through the trends and then i'll go ahead and pop up and move over so y'all can see i'll pop up some examples of the trends on the screen all of the items that i include on the screen throughout the video will be linked down below so you guys can easily reference them you guys can easily shop them using my affiliate links if you guys shop through those links i do earn a coin so i just wanted to put all of that information out there so you guys know before we get started also i wanted to let you guys know if you guys aren't signed up already make sure you guys sign up for rakuten it's a great way to earn money back for shopping online yes you get paid to shop like do i have to say any more but if you guys sign up through my link down below after you make your first purchase using rakuten you get a coin and i get a coin so if you guys aren't signed up and if you guys are interested in signing up go ahead and click that link down below the sign up process is super easy you don't have to give them your social you don't have to give them too much information just enough for you to get your cash back for them to pay you so if you guys are interested i will have the link for that down below now let's go ahead and get into the summer 2022 fashion trend i have everything jotted down in my ipad because i did not want to miss a beat okay so also i'm trying a new filming setup so if the audio is a little off if it goes in and out then just know that you know we getting things together i'm trying to enhance the quality of my content so i'm just trying some new things out let me know what y'all think lighting wise look wise audio wise let me know in the comments down below but let's go ahead and get into these trends is it really a video if the hood is not hitting but the first summer fashion trend that i wanted to speak about are satin dresses baby satin dresses are a staple okay you can never go wrong with the satin dress you can wear it with sneakers you can wear it with heels you can tie it up and do different things you could turn it into a skirt you could wear it as just a shirt you have so many options with the satin dress that i cannot even sit here and list them out for you guys like i've seen people do such creative things with satin dresses that i'm just like i never thought of doing like i saw my friend rashina i don't know if it was a skirt or a satin skirt or a satin dress but you could use like a brooch to kind of like give it a ruched effect you could do so many different things with the satin dress and they come in so many different colors the one thing i will say about a satin dress you know how some items it's like it don't matter if you buy the cheaper version or the more expensive version but a satin dress baby you got to get quality okay because when you get quality you don't have to worry about it wrinkling back up snitching on you that you didn't put your iron too high you didn't steam it baby a satin dress you'll be able to see each and every imperfection so when it comes to satin dresses i prefer and i get quality satin dresses okay i get mine from asos and i also have some that i got from zara so i will link some options down below so you guys you know can shop through and see what you guys are like depending on the price point you guys are shopping within but satin dresses are a must i have a black one that i wore so many different times y'all probably did not even know i have a purple one i have so many different options so if you don't have a satin dress in your wardrobe you need one for summer 2022 because it's a tea okay that has to be spirit that's definitely given spirit like why can i hear you all the way from here baby <laughs> oh 
sounded like they were moving mountains alkaline voice but the next fashion trend that i wanted to speak about for summer was i guess we can say the clean girl aesthetic slash neutral slash less trendy items i think that's a trend in itself so many people have geared towards dressing this way throughout the year and just you know changing their pieces out depending on the season so you know for summer more you know less trendy shorts more neutral colored shorts more neutral colored tank tops and i think that's a part of my wardrobe or my style right now because in case you guys don't know i'm kind of rebranding in almost every area of my life when it comes to my wardrobe when it comes to my mental when it comes to emotional when it comes to physical i'm rebranding overall so with that you know you change the types of things that you like you change the types of items that you're wearing items you gravitate towards and right now in my life i feel like i'm gravitating more towards less trendy items like items that i'm gonna get my money's worth okay quality as well as style of items i'm gonna get my money's worth so when it comes to my wardrobe i feel like i'm really gravitating towards more neutrals i'm gravitating towards less trendy pieces just to make sure that i'm getting my money i'm getting my wears worth of items so i would say Say that that's a trend right now i'm not on tiktok in case y'all don't know your girl don't have a tiktok but i've been paying attention to certain things and i feel like the clean girl aesthetic has been a trend that's been you know spoken about a lot on social media platforms so that's why i kind of categorized it as that but it's more so like neutrals less trendy items items you can wear during different seasons you can layer x y and z forever 21 i showed you guys in my recent haul video but this item i'm gonna get my wears out of it it's white i can layer it under blazers i can wear it on its own i can do so many different things with this bodysuit but this is just one example of a piece of my wardrobe that fits that trend the next trend i wanted to speak about for summer were monochromatic looks i feel like now when you look at coordinate sets so many different things scream monochromatic and also the way people are putting their pieces together whether they're doing like a pink monochromatic look with different shades of pink green blue xyz we've we've been seeing monochromatic looks all over no matter where you turn your head so i would definitely say that's a trend that we can expect to continue to see throughout summer 2022 it's a trend that i know i plan on indulging in because i love me a monochromatic look with different shades of one color it just does something for me i don't know but yes monochromatic looks the next trend the next summer trend are i think it's pronounced please sets is that material where it's like rigid but like still silky still effortless still clean still fits the body well we've been seeing so many different sets of that material and i'm absolutely here for it i know this brand on instagram i believe it's black owned pink plastic babes they have those sets in a bunch of colors pretty little thing has a set in a lot of colors and i've also seen some higher end brands introduce these items to their product offering as well so you know it comes in the high end and then it comes in the low end too just like everything else but i'm a fan of it they look so good and literally fits the body so friggin well I have a pleach dress that I got from ASOS that I wore to Tabby's birthday dinner back in February. And baby, that material, it just sprung onto my skin okay it sprung onto my body and accentuated each and every curve that I probably did not even know I had okay. But yeah pleach material is super comfortable, super fitting for the summer season because it's just like so effortless it doesn't snitch on you when you're sweating or before you start sweating so we're here for that the next trend i noticed for summer season are textured items as well as crinkle texture or crinkle fabrics have been a huge thing okay i feel like we've seen texture before but now baby we're getting texture the brands are saying y'all want a texture we're gonna give y'all texture there's this bodysuit that i just ordered from zara and baby i saw it in store when i was in la and i'm like i need this bodysuit and went on sale during the sale so i went ahead and got it but i'll put a picture of it here but it's just like a nice deep cut crinkle bodysuit i feel like it's just gonna fit so well and it's going to look amazing on my tan skin but we've been seeing so many different brands crinkle 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 tops pants hats all types of stuff we've been seeing in crinkle materials even tote bags and i'm here for it because i feel like textures are a great way to dress up your style without having to add necessarily like a color or necessarily a pattern textures are so important and i feel like we kind of lost sight of that so i'm happy that brands are bringing it back and telling us like don't forget texture is key 
And on the note of that, I will be doing a Zara sale haul once all of my items get here. So you guys can definitely look forward to that. Because when I tell y'all I got some pieces from Zara for a great price, I got some pieces from Zara for an absolute great price. So you guys can expect to see that video, that Zara haul at the beginning of July. Once all of my items get here, I'm going to put y'all on. And hopefully you guys can still shop those items during the sale. Next up is crochet. Crochet has been a huge trend that we've been seeing. We've been seeing crochet bucket hats. We've been seeing crochet tops we've been seeing crochet pants we've been seeing crochet coordinate sets we've been seeing different colors with crochet different crochet is in crochet is so summer appropriate i absolutely love the trend i always wanted to learn how to crochet but i don't know if i just don't have the patience or i never took the time to teach myself or to learn but crochet is definitely a t and i would love to learn how to crochet to make myself like little tops and stuff just so that you know i heard it's relaxing too like knitting crocheting but we'll see if I have the time to do that. But until then, I'm going to be copying my pieces from websites such as ASOS, such as Urban Outfitters, because they've been doing a great job finessing this crochet trend. The next trend that I noticed for the summer season are chain belts. If you guys know me, if you know Kendra, if you know Kinesthetic, you guys know I love a chain belt. Like something about a chain belt just does it for me. And I feel like more brands are starting to offer chain belts in their inventory. And I am here for it. I love chain belts. It's a great way to dress up an outfit without having to do too much if you don't know how to dress if you don't know how to you know accessorize i feel like chain belts are a great place to start because they're a piece that you can have in your wardrobe that you can dress up with so many different things and also they look nice with so many outfits like whether you have on a dinner outfit whether you have on a bathing suit you can go ahead and put on a chain belt and it just adds extra drama to your outfit that we didn't even know that we needed until we realized what it was given next trend i want to speak about are my favorite if you know me if you know kendra if you know kinesthetic you guys know i love sunglasses like sunglasses kendra synonyms period <laughs> so two pairs of sunglasses or two types of sunglasses that i noticed are trending this summer season are one motorsport sunglasses so you guys can see here that the girls have been loving like a motor 90s looking type of sunglass it looks so well with so many different things and i'm here for it i have a couple of pairs in my inventory already but i do plan on adding some more i feel like balenciaga has been doing a great job with this trend like baby when i tell y'all balenciaga gonna do a moto sunglass they gonna do a moto sunglass and the next trend of sunglasses are like 2000s or vintage sunglasses. I feel like the Dior, like when Dior had that sunglass with the D on the side, the Chanel's. There's so many different brands that offer these types of glasses now. You can even find them on Amazon, girl. So depending on your budget, you can get yourself a pair of these sunglasses. I will have lots of options down below. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love options. You guys know I love putting y'all on. So make sure you guys check the description box. But baby, when I tell y'all I'm giving y'all sunglass looks this summer, I'm giving y'all sunglass looks this summer. I do plan on finessing a lot of sunglasses this summer so make sure you guys are following me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore so you guys can see my sunglass looks but those are two types of sunglasses that i noticed are definitely trending for this summer season the next trend are hair claws slash hair clips the girls have been loving loving hair clips and hair cloths as a hair accessory and i'm here for it okay my hair right now in this current state is not able to go into anyone's hair claw or hair clip but the girls who wear bundles the girls who have straight hair the girls who straighten their hair can definitely take advantage of this trend i love it i love seeing you know just like a pullback look with the clip and the clip is giving an accessory of the outfit i feel like it just brings everything together and it looks so cute even like little chopsticks that girls are starting to you know put a little chopstick in their hair <laughs> to see a Miss Nicki Minaj I guess I don't know something about a nice slick back look with like a nice little accessory moment on the side just does it for me the next trend that I noticed are anklets I've been noticing that a lot of brands have been offering anklets now and I love an anklet because it just does a good job showing like my feet are cute but my feet are really cute okay like the anklet just accentuates the beauty of the foot and i absolutely love that also toe rings i definitely feel like i've been seeing more toe rings than usual i do need to get myself some toe rings so if you guys have any recommendations of good quality toe rings then drop them down below but in general just foot accessories the girls have really been getting into and i love that because i have cute feet i have real cute feet okay my feet are real beautiful god knew what he was doing when he created these feet okay when i put on an anklet with some white toes 
the combination of it all just does everything for me like i just love it <laughs> next up we have chunky flip flops the girls have been loving a chunky flip flop okay like flipping and flopping with the platform i love it i love the trend i love seeing it but i can't see myself doing that one thing about me if something is platform it has to be a boot because if not i'm gonna be tripping i already know myself and i'm not trying to cause myself more embarrassment than i already do with my clumsy self okay but i love seeing a chunky flip flop it looks so cute whether you have wide feet narrow feet big feet small feet it don't matter okay a chunky flip-flop to me looks great on everyone so if you guys are looking for some chunky flip-flops i'll have some options here but yes chunky flip-flops have been a cute little tee i've been loving to see them designer brands luxury brands have been getting to them as well and i'm here for it but it just isn't for me you know how some things you just like seeing but you know on you it's not gonna look real cute i'm just like yeah i can't do a chunky flip-flop i already know myself i'm a fool i'm gonna embarrass myself and we don't need that the next trend are corset tops this trend right here i'm honestly not really a fan of because i just feel like something about the way the top finishes doesn't do it for me it's like what's the right bottom to complement the bottom of that top like i don't know i feel like it just needs to be tucked it needs to be tucked away something about it just gives me incomplete so i'm not here for that trend it's cute i've been seeing some people you know make it look cute but for me personally i can't see myself wearing that because i'm just gonna feel incomplete i don't know if that makes sense but the way the top finishes it just gives me incomplete i don't know it's just like what are we trying to do here like what's the objective but that's another trend i've been seeing some girls make it look cute it just isn't for me it's not the next trend are athletic sets i feel like people have really been wearing athletic sets as outfits and i'm here for that because you know your girl is a sweats and sneaks type of girl so anything where i can look cute and still be comfortable i'm a fan of so a lot of brands like biker shorts and sports bras are like a nice little linen top over it tee with some sneakers some trainers as the girls call it a tee um i'm not really a fan of like athletic sets with heels but maybe it's just me but a nice little athletic set with a nice little linen top over to just make it feel and look more of an outfit with some accessories a cute little bag and you got yourself an outfit the next trend are satin pajama sets people have also been wearing these as outfits and if you guys watch my latest huge collective haul if you guys didn't see that i'll link it up above and down below so you guys can check it out but i showed you guys the set that i got from h&m it's actually a pajama set and i wore it outside and literally nobody knew like how would they know how would they know because it really was giving outfits so i've been seeing a lot of girls and a lot of boys wear pajama sets as outfits outside and i really love to see it because once again anything that gives comfortable and it's so cute has my name all over it the next trend i'm not really a fan of i'm just gonna say that from now i'm just gonna say that from now it's bermuda denim shorts it's giving me like high water capri I don't know what it is about it and then also i don't know if i ever told you guys but i was really insecure about my legs at one point of my life i had so many mosquito bites i went home like back to dominica i think 14 years ago it's been so long but i got bit up by mosquitoes so bad i was scratching them my skin peeled off i had dark spots on my legs for years like four years and i never felt comfortable wearing shorts wearing you know skirts especially during the especially during the summer season so now that my legs are better now that my legs are clear bring on the poom poom shorts <laughs> bring on the poom poom shorts that's all i have to say i'm not really a bermuda shorts kind of girl it could be because of my height because i think i'm short i'm 5'3 and i just feel like something about bermuda shorts on a short girl just gives childish i don't know if it's just me but i'm not a fan of bermuda shorts they look cute on some people i see people roll them up but i'm like for all of that bring on the poom poom shorts and the last trend that i wanted to get into are relaxed low-rise denim within the last few months i've been slacking okay at this point summer is gonna get whatever body it gets and that's it we'll try again next summer like i just i fell off track life has just been lifing my body is not giving summer but it's okay because we still have some time to get it together but in the meantime these relaxed low-rise denim are gonna get me together because nobody's going to know what's going on in the stomach area nobody's gonna know when i'm bloated because guess what my jeans are relaxed and they still look cute they not pinching me they not choking me they giving me a nice relaxed fit and i can still go out and eat whatever i want to eat okay especially when people cuff them up at the bottom 
cute little tee okay so that's the last summer trend now i wanted to get into some colors that i noticed have really been trending this summer season the first one y'all should already be able to guess is like the bottega green which i believe is formerly known as the kelly green that green right there uh melanin skin with the tan baby <laughs> baby we've been seeing this green all over i recently picked up this bodysuit from naked wardrobe that's the kelly green color naked wardrobe did a whole kelly green collection and you've been seeing them on pretty little thing on asos so i have tons of kelly green options down below but yes kelly green a melanin skin with the tan chef's kiss the next color that i noticed has been trending is bright orange i love an orange like love an orange love an orange an orange set an orange top an orange pink an orange shoe i love orange it looks so freaking good on me i only wear orange in the summertime though because i feel like it compliments me the best when i have a tan it just gives toasty i've also been noticing this pinky pink color that's been everywhere pink is my favorite color but once again it's one of those colors that i really enjoy wearing in the summertime when i have a tan and also i noticed that this bright yellow has been trending as well we've been seeing so many different yellow items on websites but those are just some colors that i noticed are trending obviously and we all know that every color looks good on melanin skin so sis bro no matter what color you decide to put on just know it's going to look good on us okay so those are all of the summer 2022 trends that i wanted to share with you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as i always mention in my trends videos trends are not for everyone as you guys saw there were some trends in this video that i'm just like i'm not a fan of but if y'all like it i love it okay so don't feel pressured like you have to go ahead and get items that fit all of these trends get items and follow trends that go with your style that fit with your aesthetic don't feel like you have to pressure yourself to like anything just because anyone likes it and that's on period okay so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video as i mentioned i will have product recommendations and links down below in the description box they are affiliate links so when you guys shop through those links i do get a coin so i just wanted to put that out there but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys comment down below and let me know if you guys plan on picking any of the items featured in today's video up if you guys like any of the trends comment down below if you're just like uh these trends are not for me comment down below too and let me know okay but i really hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe turn on your bell notifications give this video a big thumbs up and until my next video i'll see you guys later